this is upper cat so i think it kind of looks like a superhero cat you have the ears here a cute nose and then a cape on the back um, so the nose are like uh, upwards winglets and then we have the downwards winglets on the back as well and a locking mechanism in front so the nose is not just for looks it uh, also keeps the wings locked together um, it's relatively easy to fold and it flies so much better than I expected so I wouldn't call it a performance glider but it's it's really good and I think um, you can probably turn this into a good boomerang but uh, I'm not really good at catching stuff so maybe someone else can make it into a boomerang. I'm using a regular sheet of A4 paper. We're going to start by just folding it in half this way. You want to make sure you do this as accurately as possible. Now we're going to bring the edges and fold them towards the middle and you can leave a gap of about one millimeter on each side. But do try to have it uh, uniform, have it as straight as possible. Same on this side. Now flip over the paper and fold it in half this way. And try to keep everything as straight as possible. Now we're going to take these corners here, so on the closed side, not on, on the open side, and fold them towards the center. then just flip over the paper and revert those folds. Now take the top flap and fold it over this edge of these corners and make sure this is a straight line still, the center crease here that it follows the same line as the center crease there and just fold like this, unfold fold again and now what you want to do is uh, take these corners and inverse these creases so make it go inside like so and do the other side as well so open this flatten and reverse and your plane should look like this now we're gonna bring this down again but as we do so we pull on these flaps here we open these flaps and we bring this down and then we make new creases here and here. Now flip over the paper and fold from this corner towards this corner, outwards, so like this. Same on the other side. Try not to pull too hard on it so you don't rip the paper in the corners. Like this. Now take this edge, fold it towards the center. And do the same here as well. Now take the tip of the plane and pull it forward. And it will um, catch on this tip here on the bottom of the plane. So you can't really see it on the video, but uh, you will feel it. So, so I'm not using this crease as a reference, but I'm using um, the layers behind. So like this, flatten, fold this tip forward towards the edge of the page, like so. Open it up and just inverse it crease once, so. Now you want to close the plane, take some time to flatten all the layers, 
Now uh, we have this little corner inside with that crease, so I'm just gonna fold it towards the side and I hope you can see that, like this. And that's gonna create a locking mechanism. And then we want to fold the lace straight at the elbow of the locking mechanism. And fold the second ring to match. This looks fine. So now uh, here we have these corners, so you just want to fold them up and there's a layer behind it. So this layer here is going to catch the ear. So, and there's already a crease there, so you can just fold it where it will naturally want to fold, like so. And then uh, on the wings you want to fold down. We want to bring this tip towards this edge. And try to have this crease uh, parallel towards the center of the pin. And do the same on the other side. And the plane is finished. To get the best performance, I find that it's best to add just a tiny bit of down elevator. And the way you do that is you just gently bend down the back of the wings right here, close to the center. And then if you need to trim it a bit to the left or the right, um, you can do that by bending the back of the fuselage into the direction that you want it to steer.